Right, question number 14. Oops. So question number 14. Um, this is adding fractions, you can see that. So let's have a little talk about adding fractions first and then we'll come back and show you how to do this particular question. So if I just have a look at this. Imagine I want to do this calculation. Now this is really um, reasonably straightforward because the denominators are the same. The bottom number of the fraction is the same, they're both fifths. In that case, the problem becomes very easy. I can just add up the numerators and in this case I get four fifths. Or, if I was in picture form, you can see that three fifths is here in blue, one fifth in green, and we notice the chunks all the same size. And then we can see we can just put them together and it fits together in one shape and it becomes four fifths. That's really straightforward, I would hope, when it's the denominator is the same. It becomes a bit more tricky when we've got different denominators. Well, we can see we've got halves and quarters, but halves and quarters aren't too bad to deal with. So a half as a shape added to a quarter as a shape in green, a quarter of a shape, and then obviously we can fit those together. And that, that answer is obviously three quarters. And that's not, we're not just adding up the tops and the bottoms, we, we, we're thinking carefully about what a half and a quarter means. Okay, we're not trying to take too many shortcuts here. And obviously it doesn't work, so otherwise you get two out of six, it doesn't even make any sense. Right. A little bit more tricky when the numbers don't aren't so easy. Six and ninth aren't easy to imagine in your head, not like halves and quarters. So let's think. We've got six that look like pink uh, strips like that, and we want to subtract. Oh, let's go back one step. I want to subtract ninths, which are slightly different shapes and different sizes. So it would be better if we made them into the same size chunks, if we made these chunks the same and then we could add or subtract them easily because it's hard to put these on there because it doesn't really fit or take them off because it doesn't work. So if we put some lines across there and then turn 5 sixths into 15 eighteenths. 5 sixths into 15 eighteenths. Imagine, can you see what's happened to the numerator? It's got three times bigger. And the 6, the denominator, has also got 3 times bigger. Let's do the same thing to the 2 ninths. So instead of 2 ninths, let's imagine if we can say it in the same little squares, the 18th now. So how are we going to get this to 18? Oh, we've got a double, double 9 to 18. So that means we've got 4 18ths in picture form, and we've got 15 18ths here. So when we go to subtract, obviously we just lose 1, 2, 3, 4. We lose four of the pink little squares, four of the eighteenths. It gives us eleven eighteenths overall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Or taking four from fifteen. Right. Same thing here. Shapes can overflow, so let's have a quick look. This time we need to find think of the denominator, the number that these both are going to. What size shape or chunk can we make it so they're the same size? This is out of five at the moment, this is out of four, it's no good. So let's think of our fours and our fives. They're both going to 20, don't they? They both go into 20. So instead of having them out of five and out of four, or fifths and quarters, let's turn them into chunks or little chunks of 20, and then we can compare them. So from five to 20 is four times bigger. Three is four times bigger to 12. Four to 20 is 5 times bigger, so 3 has got to get 5 times bigger, which makes 15 twentieths. And then we can go ahead and add them. And you see in this case it overflows into a brand new shape, which means we're going to get a number bigger than 1. This shape represents 1, this is the overflow. So it means how many we've got? 15 and 12. Now they're the same denominator. It's 27, isn't it? 20 here and an extra 7. So that gives us 27 over 20, or like we saw in one of the previous videos, we could write that as 1 and 7 twentieths if we wanted to. Okay, almost there. Let's look at this one. Right, let's have a think. If you want to pause the video now, if you want to pause the video and kind of try and see what's going on, see if you can do it on a bit of paper, think of the number these are both going to. Into. Okay, so let's see if you're right. 4 and 3 both going to 12, don't they? So Write the fractions over the denominator, the lowest common denominator. So 12 is the biggest number, it is the small first number they're both going to. 
So from 4 to 12, it's 3 times bigger. That's why we've got 1 lot of 3. And 3 to 12 gets 4 times bigger. So we've got 2 4s and 8. And then we just got to add or subtract the numbers, which in this case is 11. And in case it simplifies or breaks down, let's try another one. Okay. Is there a number that 10 and 2 both go into? Oh, yeah, it's obviously 10, isn't it? Obviously, both go into 10. So we're thinking it should be something like, well, we can keep this one the same. Plus, this has got to get out. Go to 10. So this has got to get 5 times bigger. So this has got to get 5 times bigger. We reckon it's going to be that. Let's have a look. 4 plus 5, we're definitely in tenths. That makes 9 tenths, doesn't it? It doesn't simplify, so we're done. Let's try this one. Okay, first number they're both going to. So you should be counting up in your 7s and your 2s. 7, 14, 21, 35, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 is obviously where it's at. And then 7 to 14 is doubled, so it's double the numerator. 2 to 14 has got bigger by 7, so this gets bigger by 7 times. And that leaves us with 13 fourteenths. Let's see if I'm right. 6 and 7 is 13. 13 fourteenths. Right, lovely. Let's get back to this. So we've got 5 and 7. So we need to find the list of our 5 times table. 15, 20, 25, 13. It's going to carry on. Let's try my 7s. 1, 7, 7, 14. I'm looking the denominators. Excuse me. 21, 28. Not found any matched up yet. So let's go 35, 42. Oh, hold on. Hold on, we can see that this one's the fives are going to go to 35, aren't they? I can see that. So instead of five and seven, let's make them into the same size chunk. Let's turn them into 30 fifths. How many fives do I need? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this has got to get seven times bigger. So that's 14. And one, two, three, four, five bigger in this fraction. So the numerator's got to get five times bigger, which is five. That gives us 19 out of 35. Check it can't simplify. The only number that goes into both of these things is one. So our job is done.